So, as I was reading the prompt for measure a territory, I thought there were so many ways I could measure horizontally, you know? But I was thinking, why not try to measure vertically? Like the height of this tree, instead of measuring how wide the tree is in length. So I was thinking, because obviously with the measure ruler, you can't measure up because the thing just flimsies down, that I invent a small little device that anybody can do at their house. Let me explain how this works. All you need is red yarn, which I have right here, and a circular groove, okay? A little groove here so you can wrap this string around, and I'll explain why in a second. So before um, you decide to measure your height, you need to set up a metric system of your choice. So here, this cap of a candle, which is quite handy actually, is 24 centimeters in uh, diameter. Sorry, in, what do you call it? Le perimètre, in the per per perimeter. In the perimeter, exactly. <laughs> it's 24 centimeters <laughs> in perimeter around the groove, okay? So after you measure it, you just wrap it around, and then you see how many circles you've done, and that's how many centimeters it is. But you don't want to forget that since you're throwing it up and back down, you have the distance multiplied by two. So you need to make sure to divide it by two, your result, to get um, the height one way up. See? I can't measure because it's too tall. Um, and people say I'm a giant. So, <laughs> uh, we're going to measure this with a technique I have handy dandily invented. So what you're going to do is you have your spool of yarn, that's what you call it, and you're just going to untangle a bit to be able to throw over this red thing, okay? So let's say I want to build a fort here, so we have a nice lookout on the forest, and it's a pretty, a quite strategic place in the forest to build your hut. So what I'll do is I will throw this over the branch, but not too far because I want to make sure to only measure the height of this branch, and we're going to measure it together. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. And there you go. Now what you do is you bring it all the way down, that way it touches the ground, exact distance here, and you're just going to cut. And you, you don't want to stretch the rope out, you want to let it hang loosely, that way you get the most accurate measurement. So here I'm just going to cut, and there we go. Now the next step is quite easy, even if you're short you just pull. and it comes falling right down. Now what you're going to do, now that you have your rope, this is the distance of the height, but twice. So we're going to take this, we're going to put it at the groove one, and we're going to count. So we have one, two, three, four, 23, 24, 25, 25 and a half. So now, you know that your rope has gone around the cap 25 times and a half. So you do 25 times 24 divided by 2. And that I'll let you calculate. 24 times 25, so first of all 20 times 20 is 400. And then 4 times 5 is 20. So we have 420 centimeters up and down on the branch. So now, let's go back to the branch so I can re-show you guys. Now, we'll know that the height of that tree is 200, 210 centimeters, or 2 meters and 10 centimeters. So now, whenever you want to build and you're looking for a stick in the forest, all you need to do is measure with the traditional tape ruler, 2 meters and 10, and you know the exact height of the tree.